today, uh, with this particular legislation, we're uh, going to be experimenting with a new form of community engagement in the legislative process. And this is one that has been tested out at different levels of government, other local governments. There's some federal uh, implementation of this tool. And it's essentially a new way for people to be heard and to um, be engaged in the process of making laws or policies in our county. Um, this builds on, you know, technology and its role in government is always changing uh, and we've had notable steps forward in the use of technology over the years uh, I understand that there were there are, there are not more than one uh, fit a person on the fifth floor who was here when voicemail was introduced and uh, that engendered some controversy at the time um, you know some said that uh, we would be overwhelmed with uh, you know <coughs> messages from our constituents uh, email you know was introduced and I think everyone would agree that it has been an incredibly efficient way for us to hear from our constituents uh, at any time. Um, more recently, we have social media. We, most of us or all of us manage Facebook pages or Twitter accounts, and um, that is an ongoing experiment in hearing from constituents. This is most closely analogous to uh, Facebook and Twitter in that it's essentially a social media tool, um, but rather than uh, having comments that are sort of just lodged into Facebook or Twitter, this is creating a particular forum where people can come in, they can uh, comment on legislation, mm -hmm. and then they can uh, understand a response from either the council office or uh, the uh, council analyst. Um, as, as my colleagues know, we have a tradition of responding to substantial comments on legislation and master plans and, and any issue. So most of the time, those are heard through public hearings. But also, if someone doesn't get to a public hearing and they send us a thoughtful email, you'll see that show up in a council packet you know, with some discussion about that by the analysts. So um, this will give us the opportunity to hear uh, comments um, as well through this portal. And um, I wanted to state again, Councilmember Navarro and I are piloting this tool it's one that is available to each of you. You may choose to use it in legislation that you have forthcoming. Uh, to set expectations, you know, I thought this would be useful to engage students. You know, we're, we've got this project that came to us from students. You know, it's hard for students to get in to testify, but perhaps we could get five or ten to be aware of the legislation and build on the work that these other students have done. So. Um, it's targeted, at least in, in this kind of rollout, to a particular community. I think this kind of effort could be useful in targeted outreach. So uh, Ken Silverman on my team has been working this together. And if Ken, if you could kind of uh, help us walk through the demo. So right now we're looking at the landing page of this project called Madison. And we have an implementation of Madison at the county council website, our council IT team, with Sonia Healy as the leader. Uh, leading this initiative has taken the legislation and created a, a page. A person will come into the page and they'll see the law. This is the recommended law from the students that we received and Councilmember Navarro and I and Ms. Florian have introduced and many of you have signed on as co-sponsors. Um, a person could, um, well, so they see the major provisions. I suppose the underlying uh, text is the text that is a change in the law. Um, if you see on the right side, it says how to participate. Uh, so there's a short video demonstration that's a standard one that the tool uses throughout all its iterations. You can sign up, you can add your voice, um, and you can annotate, annotate and comment. Now, as a council staff, you know, your council office may choose to uh, respond in real time to comments. Uh, you may want to respond substantively, or you may say that's an interesting comment. We'll take that under consideration. I mean, there's various different ways that you may, or that we'll find to, uh, you know, interact with people. Um, I think many of us feel that when we rely on those who are able to come to Rockville and submit written public testimony, that we don't always hear the full breadth of the community. And our hope is that by using this tool, we will have yet another way to hear 
from more of our residents. It doesn't mean that we will stop doing our public hearings. And I want to state for myself, that was the key thing. Like it was the light bulb for me. Oh, this doesn't take away from anything we're doing now because everything we're doing now I think is essential, but it adds to the tool. So we can now use the web in a new way to supplement what we're doing rather than replacing anything that we're doing. So, you know, when I realized that that was the case, that we weren't replacing anything, we were just supplementing, I became comfortable enough uh, to say, I'd like to try this out. Mm -hmm.